What is it? What's the matter, sir? Inspector Daniels? Inspector? Now, what's all this about? Well, what seems to be the matter, sir? Been in an accident? Uh, drinking about her. She's been fired, all right. I, I just killed a man. What's your name? Wilson. What? Wilson. Was it an accident, Mr. Wilson? No. Who was it? I don't know his full name. They call him Papa Benjamin. Why did you kill him? Because he was killing me. Self-defense, huh? Knife, any kind of weapon. No. He was killing me with something you couldn't see or hear. What do you mean? He was killing me with voodoo. gentleman, Eddie Wilson, insists that he killed the man because he himself was being killed with voodoo. Is there really such a thing? Can a voodoo hungan really work black magic? Papa Benjamin does in this terrifying story by Cornell Woolridge. Our leading players are Mr. John Ireland as Eddie Wilson, Miss Jean Bow as Judy Wilson. Mr. Henry Scott as Stutz. And Mr. Robert Harris as Jerry. As sure as my name is Boris Karloff, you will witness fantastic events in this thriller. Events as dark as the jungle where the voodoo rites and voodoo drums were first seen and heard. It may even lead you to wonder what you yourself could accomplish with just an ordinary pin and a doll shaped like someone of whom you're not particularly fond. Well, I commend you to Papa Benjamin and an hour of thrills. I have things to do. You say a man was killing you with voodoo? Yes. And you killed him? Yes. But there hasn't been any voodoo on this island in 50 years. It's illegal. There are severe penalties for anyone caught practicing it. 20 years in prison. But I saw it in that house. What house? I killed Papa Benjamin because he cursed me with voodoo. You think I'm lying, don't you? No, I'm not lying, Mr. Wilson. But you're obviously a very sick man. Please, you've got to believe me. I'm not imagining it, I tell you, I'm not imagining it. Oh. Find Dr. Simpson. He's on a call somewhere in the plantation quarters. Bring him here. Hurry. Eddie Wilson. 
Eddie Wilson. Oh, he's that American orchestra leader who played at the Hotel Caravan last year. Last year. I was here last year. I was appearing with my band at the Caravan Hotel. I was a top name in popular music without a care in the world. I had everything. Money was rolling in. But I needed something more. I developed a frantic need to compose something really good. It was important, terribly important. A, a compulsion. Down here, inspired by the sights and sounds of the Caribbean, I started writing a rhapsody based on Afro-Cuban themes. just isn't working out. It'll happen, Eddie. Sure, it'll happen. Don't work for it, just let it happen. You have nothing to beat yourself about. You have talent. You're at the top of the heap, Eddie. You're up there. No, I'm not. Eddie, you're pushing yourself too hard. Honey, you're, you're way behind on the new arrangements for the band. Well, I'll get to them this weekend. That's what you said last weekend. Did I? <laughs> Eddie. Honey. We only have about 20 minutes to go over my new number. Then we have to get ready for the supper show. Come on, honey. That's a boy. It was then that I heard that sound. A simple, primitive phrase. With an odd beat. sound you were playing? Oh, nothing. Nothing much, Eddie. Just uh, try not to lose skin here. Well, keep trying. It sounded real good. Well, it wasn't nothing, Eddie. <laughs> Just something came in my head. No, it went something like this. And it had a little of this in it. I don't remember that. You just played it. I told you, Eddie, I don't remember. That's bugging you, Stats. You don't seem to be with it anymore. I don't play your music good, Eddie. Is that the complaint? Oh, you play my music real great. But we just don't seem to be making it like we used to. Why? You gonna run through a number, Judy? Yes, a couple. Good. Ready for you two. Stats, how far out can you get? Oh, about so far. How long ago did his wife die? Yeah, I guess that's what's been bugging him. Come on, Eddie, let's rehearse. Come on, huh? Which 
Cats had played. It kept bugging me even during the supper show. The show went pretty well tonight, didn't you? Yeah, yeah especially your last number. You're just being nice. You weren't even with me. Honey, you go ahead. I'll be up in a minute. Well, don't be long, Eddie. going, I knew it had something to do with that music. I didn't know it then, but that rhythm was drawing me to my death. My slow, horrible death.
Once I heard that rhythm, nothing in the world could have stopped me. I heard it and it took hold of me. You had no right here. He's not a policeman, Papa Benjamin. I know this man. Then what'd he do here? Well, he came to be with us, to join us. True? Yeah. Say it. I came to join you. Does he tell the truth about this? Yes, Papa Benjamin. I know him. He's my friend. We work together. You don't have to worry. He'll keep secret whatever he sees or hears here. Or you die. I'll keep everything secret. We will see. Come. I believe. Say it. I believe. He has said it. He believes. Your spirit is with ours now, and ours are with you. Remember your oath. If you betray us in any way, you will die. Say it. Say it. He 
has spoken. You came to getting yourself killed. What brought you there, Eddie? The music. What else? And am I going to use it? No. Stats, you don't believe in that cockadoodle do? As much as whatever you believe in. You're just down and you're looking for something to believe in. Maybe because of Anne. But not voodoo. No one can commune with spirits. The dead are dead. Are they? You don't have to believe it. But, Eddie, don't knock it. I'm not knocking it. I just don't believe in it. But I do believe in that sound. Now I'm warning you. That music is sacred. To those people, that music is sacred. Don't touch it. Stats, will you get off this kick? All right. Go ahead. Write it. Don't listen to me. Write it. But I wouldn't be in your place, not for anything in this whole world. Goodbye, dead man. I never saw him again. I should have listened to him. I should have called him back, but it was too late. He was gone into the darkness. It was too late for me, too. But I didn't know that then. I went to work. For the first time in years, I was doing something that had real meaning. The voodoo rhapsody I was writing. I felt like a composer again, a creative artist. I was tired. Dead tired, but I couldn't stop working. It was like the music owned me. almost two in the afternoon. Oh. You suppose you could have someone send up some coffee? Eddie, you've been living on nothing but coffee. When are you going to quit? When it's finished. And when will that be? I've missed you. Tonight, tomorrow. Then I start orchestrating. working out. Okay. Oh, we never will know why Stats left. He was awfully good. Yeah. I found a nice little restaurant. I thought that maybe tonight after the show, the two of us could...
Two weeks later, it was finished. My agent, Jerry Roberts, flew down from New York. He brought a Broadway delegation along, music publishers, recording executives. It was the biggest night of my life, in more ways than I knew. You need a rest. The way you've been working, horrible hours. Nervous tension can kill people, Mr. Wilson, and has. I'll have my nurse stop by with some more sedatives in the morning. Now you take care of yourself, Eddie. Make him stay in bed for a few days. Absolute rest. I will, Doctor. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, Jerry. Come on. You're going to bed. I'll be all right. I'll help you. Don't leave our guests. Well, I'll just say good night to them. jobs because I just didn't have the energy to work. I stopped playing the Rhapsody. But even that didn't help. It's gotten around, Eddie. Where it's gotten around, you're a sick man. Now, who's gonna hire a guy who's so sick he doesn't show up for half his engagements? I'm not sick. Why do you all keep saying that? Don't you think the doctor should know? Eddie, you may not like what I'm gonna say. Look, if the doctors can't find anything, then, well, maybe it isn't physical. Maybe it isn't physical. Sure. It's in my head. It's all in my head. Well, then what is it? What's happened to you? I don't know. I just don't know. Yeah. That job out on the West Coast, they've canceled out. That's the third cancellation. So they canceled out. Well, who needs them? I've got plenty of money. Who are you kidding? You haven't got plenty. Uh, well, Judy was here earlier, and that's why I called you. 
Look, she loves you, Eddie, but there's limits. I mean, she's thinking of leaving me. She thinks you're hiding something. Why don't you level with her, huh? Benjamin, and how I got the music for the Rhapsody. I never told you this before because, well, I didn't think you'd believe me. I don't even believe it myself at first. At first? You mean you believe it now? Every minute of it. I love you, Eddie, and I want to help you all I can. But when a man's imagination gets so sick... You were somebody once. A famous man at the top of the heap. But above all, a man. Look at you now. And for no reason, voodoo and superstitions. That's it, Eddie. Either you try to help yourself by going to the right kind of a doctor, or... or I'm walking out. I just can't go on watching you destroy yourself like this. But, Judy... there's nothing any doctor can do. somebody coming. I knew it was you. I knew it. Papa Benjamin, look at me. Whatever you've done. You had your chance. You was warned. Here. All the money I've got. It's yours. Here. Only take your curse off me. You took a holy oath. You broke it. Look at me. Look at me! You've got to take your curse off me! What has been done cannot be undone. Go away, dead man. Not gonna die. Not gonna die. 
since you say you shot this man. I don't know, an hour, maybe an hour and a half, two hours. And you uh, left him there? Yeah. Feel strong enough to show us? Yeah. All right, let's go. practices of Buddha on the destructive path has been outlawed for a long while. I saw it right here in this room. I killed Papa Benjamin right here. back to the station, Mr. Wilson. I killed him, I tell you. Right here in this room. sent for me. It's gonna be all right, Eddie. In a week or so, I'm taking you home. See you in the morning, Eddie. Will he have to be put in the hospital back home? He'll need intensive treatment, but he probably won't be hospitalized. It's vital, though, that he try to live at a much slower pace, even if he has to be forced to. Okay. To imagine all of that, it's unbelievable. It's almost easier to believe that it really happened. But what made him believe it was voodoo? Creative people are very sensitive to their own creations, Mr. Roberts. The music he was writing made him sick and almost killed him.
Baby, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Baby, baby, I missed you. Oh, God. Everything's gonna be fine now. Everything's gonna be all right. Uh, Judy, did you get the hotel reservations okay? Y yes, Jerry, your office took care of it. The, the Parkwood Hotel. Parkwood? Baby, we can't afford no, it. No, 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 it's on me, an investment. And how would you like to have your band back, hmm? Do you mean they're still together? They never made it so good after they left you, Eddie. I got most of them together. And not only that, Jerry's got a booking for you. Yeah, while I was down on the island, I talked to Sid at the caravan. He'll book you back in the ballroom as soon as you're ready. thanks to my boys. It may be corny to say so, but, well, you know, I've uh, been away for a while, and this is in the nature of a comeback. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate the way you've welcomed me back. Voodoo Rhapsody! Voodoo Rhapsody! Play Voodoo Rhapsody! That's it, play Voodoo Rhapsody! Voodoo Rhapsody. Voodoo Rhapsody. All right, fellas. Number 22. Voodoo Rhapsody.